Hello guys, welcome to today's lesson. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the lessons of last week. Uh, looking through the scores that people posted both sessions, some very impressive scores on those. So well done on that. Still really important that we stay fit and healthy in these times, even if the weather like today is slightly worse than what it was last week. So the session that we're gonna to do today is one that can be done outside if the weather's nice, but it can also be done inside um, with not a lot of room needed and again no equipment needed all right that's the purpose of these sessions that it doesn't take a lot of space it doesn't take a lot of equipment it's something you can do uh, like me in my front room or in the garden if the weather's nicer or in your bedrooms or wherever there is a bit of space to do so what we're going to do is something slightly different today and it's going to be called zoo fitness now, those of you who've been in my lessons will know what Zoo Fitness is and how tough it can be. Um, it's really good, low impact uh, fitness work. It's good, as I said, it's low impact, there's less pressure on your joints. So when you're uh, jumping around and, and all those sorts of things, there's not as much pressure being pushed down and potentially causing injury. There is, it's good because it uh, increases range of motion at joints so your flexibility so you'll find that I will struggle with this uh, certainly most of you guys will find this easier than me and it also strengthens ligaments and tendons so the things that keep bones together in the joints muscles to bones to get them moving it will strengthen those and help you in the long run okay we're gonna do five exercises today and we're gonna do ten repetitions of each so you're gonna do each exercise 10 times and then that is going to be a round and I'm going to do five rounds of that. It doesn't sound like a lot and it won't look like a lot but as you go through you will realise it can be quite tough. So the first exercise that we're going to do is what we call frog squats or froggies. So you're going to get yourself in a squat position, feet shoulder width apart, facing outwards, okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook my elbow inside my legs here. So I'm going to hook my elbow here, hook my elbow there. I'm going to bring my hands together and I'm going to get down into a squat position there. So every time I come up and back down, that is one. So it's similar to a squat, but we're going a bit deeper and my elbows pushing my legs out will increase the range of motion and flexibility in my hips. So if I turn to the side, it should look something like this. Feet, shoulder width apart, hook my elbows in and go down into this position. I want to try and keep my feet on the floor as well, because that will improve flexibility of your ankles. So if I start squat doing this, I'm only working on my hips. I'm going to work on my ankles and hips. So hook my elbows in, down, there. So up, down, that's one. I'm going to do 10 of them. The next exercise, rock press. So it's similar to a press up, but you'll be working more shoulders and upper pectoral, upper chest area. So on hands and feet, I'm going to have my legs straight hands just wider than shoulders and I'm going to come down head close to the floor back up if I struggle with that I can drop down on my knees and do exactly the same like so if I turn to the side legs straight hands out wide come down back up again if I struggle on my knees down up. So that's rock press, 10 of them. Next exercise is kick sits. These are superb at opening your hips and your back up and like all of it is tiring but it's really important that we look for quality not quantity how fast you can do it. So on my feet still, on my hands, so I'm on all fours but on my hands and knees I'm going to keep both my hands on the floor and I want to bring my leg through, rotating my hips like so. 
So I've pushed my leg through, my other knee is facing up. Now that, if I keep my hands down, that will really tire you because it's almost closing away your breathing. Okay, you can hear that I'm very much out of breath already. So push through. Once I've done that, I come up, back to the start position, kick through there. So one, two, do that 10 times. If I turn to the side, <coughs> get into this position, and then kick through, hands on the floor, kick through, hands on the floor. Next exercise are explodes. So, squat, squat down, jump up. So, on this one, don't worry so much about how low your squat is. I'm not talking about this, that's not really a, any form of squat, but I don't want us to go all the way down like we have focused on before. Squat down, jump up, that's one. Ten of them. And then the final thing we're going to do is bear crawls. Again, really good at improving the strength in your ligaments and tendons, in your shoulders and your back, your hips, all joints. It's a whole body workout. You can hear just from doing those few things there that I'm already knackered. So bear crawl, again, on hands and feet, which is going to run, go forward, Go backwards. <coughs> so that's one. I'm going to do ten of them. When we're going forward and backwards, I want you to use more of your upper body, more of your shoulders and your arms. So that when you're going forward, you're pulling yourself forward. When you're going backwards, you're pushing yourself back. Okay? So I'm going to do ten reps of each exercise and then you're gonna do it five times through. So, here we go. 10 frog squats coming up. So, each arm apart, hook the elbows. One, two, three, four, five. If I turn to the side, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Then we're on to rock press. So, short of part, push down. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you're struggling, get to your knees or just decrease the range, so don't go down as far as you can, just go down there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Now, kick six, ten of these. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, explodes. So remember, don't have to go all the way down into a squat. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then finally bear cross. So we're just looking for three or four steps. Forward, and then three or four, back. Four.
Two more. One more. Okay. So, that's one round. What I want you to do is aim for five. You can see I'm already out of breath. So what you can do is make, have a rest in between each round, say a minute, and then go again. The aim is five, but again, what I don't want is you to flash through them and they'd be not as good quality, okay? Really focus on that quality, complete the exit ticket at the end, make sure you cool down after, and let me know how you get on. Good luck.